name's Harry Mo. It's coming up to 70. Physically, I'm going, going down, but I'm experienced going up. So why not pass some experience techniques to the you know, younger player? My name's Jean and I'm 73 years old. I've had to give up tennis four years ago. I've had to give up badminton one year ago and table tennis I can still do because it's on the level. I get a lot of fitness and I get a lot of fun and a lot of friendship out of it. I'm Cameron Freita and I'm 59 years old. I hadn't done table tennis before, and, uh, but I'd done a lot of racket sports. And the biggest reason was that I used to dance. I used to do salsa. I don't play an instrument, but table tennis is cognitive behavior. So it's left brain telling right brain what to do. So that's why I came to this. My name is Paul Tiller and I'm 72 years old. When I first gave up work, I got a bit depressed, to be honest with you, and um, so this got me out of depression, really. All racket sport is only the first stage. It's coordination. Some people don't have the patience to carry on. They, they get, oh, no patience. They're, oh, no, nah, it's not my game. They stop, so we never get into it. After a few times or the months of them, when they got a better co uh, coordination, they really enjoy it. They will keep coming back and play it. Just have a go, come and have a go. Doesn't matter what ability this is. None of these are professionals. I think it's a sport that's suitable for everybody. It's indoor sport, so you don't have to worry about the weather. You get an amazing social life out of it. When I think of all the friends I've made through all the sport I've done over my life, um, I would never change any of it. So don't feel old, that's very important. <laughs> feel young. <laughs>